My dear friends in Christ, on a hope-filled day last summer, the Archdiocese of Baltimore joined police, St. Joseph Monastery Parish, and a dozen other partners to rid Baltimore City streets of 362 firearms. Some of them were assault weapons. Others had been reported stolen. Using nearly $60,000 raised primarily through our Catholic community, the Baltimore Police Department recovered and destroyed those firearms. The ones we collected in a single day represented 20% of the total guns seized by city officers in the first eight months of that year. Every gun that was turned in brought with it the potential to save a life. These weapons could otherwise have been used in a suicide, a murder, or any other act of violence. Given this success, we have scheduled our next gun buyback for Saturday, August the 10th in West Baltimore. Our effort aligns with the church's belief that every human life is sacred and answers the Holy Father's repeated call that the faithful work to reduce the trafficking of firearms. Please consider contributing financially, either as individuals or parish communities. We have set a big goal and hope to raise $100,000 this year. Our first gun buyback ended hours early when we ran out of funds even as people waited in a line of vehicles that stretched many city blocks. Any money raised this year that is not used to purchase guns in the buyback will go towards the needs of families of homicide victims. The grief ministry of the Archdiocese has provided care packages with fresh groceries to more than 450 families, including nearly 2,000 people. The ministry has provided resources to relocate families living in witness protection, covered back rent for the parents of young people injured in the Brooklyn Homes mass shooting, and helped to pay to bury people who died by violence. And this includes the father of a three-year-old child who was killed alongside the little girl's mother in West Baltimore. Gun buy buybacks will never be a singular solution to violence in Baltimore or any other place. However, such events do give people a legal and safe way to dispose of their guns. And we know for sure that every unwanted firearm taken out of circulation creates the potential to save lives by ensuring that it doesn't end up in the wrong hands. The grief ministry helps stem the tide of retaliation connected to the violence. And with additional resources, we can expand our outreach to help address the mental health needs of those who have been impacted. Ultimately, these efforts provide us with an avenue to channel God's love towards peace and healing for Baltimore and all our neighbors who call the city home. Please do join us.